love it or leave it. That's the name of the team this year, folks. Get used to it. A little while ago, the Lexington Legends rebranded as the Counterclocks, much to the dismay of many, but at the same time, a sense of brighter future for the club. When the team in the ballpark opened in 2001, they were a minor league affiliate of the Houston Astros of the South Atlantic League and attracted 6,444 fans per game. A few years later, they became a farm team for the KC Royals and in 2019 welcomed 4,044 fans to their ballpark in their last year of affiliated baseball. They were one of the minor league teams that lost MLB affiliation under a new plan by MLB in 2020 and the team joined the Independent Atlantic League for the 21 season. After two years, Nathan and Kerry Lyons of Vintage South Development acquired all assets related to the legends in the ballpark. In March, management rebranded as the Counterclocks, a name to honor the horse racing industry, having their track run counterclockwise as opposed to clockwise in England. The changes also included major renovations to the stadium that included a fresh paint job, new seating and social areas, improvements to the bathrooms, and LED lighting. I had the opportunity to take a look at the construction stadium last month as it preps for opening day this week. A little while ago, the Lexington Legends rebranded as the Counterclocks, much to the dismay of many, but at the same time, a sense of brighter future for the club. When the team in the ballpark opened in 2001, they were a minor league affiliate of the Houston Astros of the South Atlantic League and attracted 6,444 fans per game. A few years later, they became a farm team for the KC Royals and in 2019 welcomed 4,044 fans to their ballpark in their last year of affiliated baseball. They were one of the minor league teams that lost MLB affiliation under a new plan by MLB in 2020 and the team joined the Independent Atlantic League for the 21 season. After two years, Nathan and Kerry Lyons of Vintage South Development acquired all assets related to the legends in the ballpark. In March, management rebranded as the Counterclocks, a name to honor the horse racing industry, having their track run counterclockwise as opposed to clockwise in England. The changes also included major renovations to the stadium that included a fresh paint job, new seating and social areas, improvements to the bathrooms, and LED lighting. I had the opportunity to take a look at the construction stadium last month as it preps for opening day this week. A little while ago, the Lexington Legends rebranded as the Counterclocks, much to the dismay of many, but at the same time, a sense of brighter future for the club. When the team in the ballpark opened in 2001, they were a minor league affiliate of the Houston Astros of the South Atlantic League and attracted 6,444 fans per game. A few years later, they became a farm team for the KC Royals and in 2019 welcomed 4,000 44 fans to their ballpark in their last year of affiliated baseball. They were one of the minor league teams that lost MLB affiliation under a new plan by MLB in 2020, and the team joined the Independent Atlantic League for the 21 season. After two years, Nathan and Kerry Lyons of Vintage South Development acquired all assets related to the legends in the ballpark. In March, management rebranded as the Counterclocks, a name to honor the horse racing industry having their track run counterclockwise as opposed to clockwise in England. The changes also included major renovations to the stadium that included a fresh paint job, new seating and social areas, improvements to the bathrooms, and LED lighting. I had the opportunity to take a look at the construction stadium last month as it preps for opening day this week. Welcome to Wild Health Field, currently under major renovations from top to bottom. And if you don't believe me, check out all these cars and construction workers, and we'll take a look inside to see what's going on for the 2023 Atlantic League season. Let's look at the major renovations taking place at the ballpark here in Lexington. I'm already noticing a huge difference. Number one, you got the uh, awesome Counterclocks logo up on the scoreboard. Looks like they're doing some over here at the Pepsi Party Deck. All right, here's the uh, mural here that is still standing for Trinity Gay. Looks like a fresh coat of paint on the outside. Looks like we have some workers doing whatever, something up there. This was a staple with uh, the Lexington Legends for many years. This was uh, the little canopy that, you know, 
had that cool little LEX logo, but I assume this will be repainted, new logo on there. We'll find out, but it's sitting on the ground right now. And the last time I was here, this was colorful Lexington legend colors of green and white and blue. These look like these are being redone as well. A counterclock C that looks like uh, the horse logo over there in red. So this is uh, the main entrance here you would come. You can tell the old Legends logo is going to be scraped away. This is a cool little uh, bar here that overlooks the field. That looks like it's being redone and sanded. If you take a look in there, it opens up behind home plate. Team went from the legends to the counterclocks. A lot of people don't like that name change. They hate the fact that they're not gonna be the legends anymore. Hopefully they come around and they'll appreciate the new ballpark changes. So we'll just have to find out and see. Uh, but so far, I'd like to see what's happening here. As long as I stay out of these construction workers' hair, I'll be fine. Mustache wall used to be right here. It was a beauty too, but yeah. I get it. I get it. Everything changes. So this this is new. This ceiling, just something simple with. Yeah, because it was a little dank and dark around here, wasn't it? And then this was always like closed. This was like a yeah. skyline chill. That might be the last time you see it, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe they'll preserve it somewhere. Yeah, that was like a... Those are field seats, right? How's it going? Well, it was the field seat, Ooh, that's right. last year when they did the new field and everything, yeah. that's where they put the pictures now. Man. Oh, pictures. okay. So that, yeah, look at that. You can see all the way out there. And these seats are new? Some of them. Or repainted? Some of them, okay. Yeah, they got a lot of the new ones. They took all the red seats out. All right, nice. It's going to be all, it's supposed to be green and then the center will be blue. That should be exciting. See, I think all of those, oh, there's new seats over there. Moving backwards, too. Oh, look, look at the clock moving backwards. That's awesome. Lexington, Kentucky bathrooms, ballpark. You have seen them first, folks. They smell fresh. Clean. Look at these lights up here. The new faucets. Do they work yet? Let's find out. They work. Wash your hands. Look at that. Here, do you want a box of seat backs? There you go, folks. Right here. That little, uh, what's that color I'm looking for? Magenta. Magenta seats. But these are going to be gone. They're going to do something with them. That kind of has seen its better days. Well, that's kind of light. Look at that. Oh, those are a little heavier. Lexington Legends. Ooh. This, these were all seats, so this would extend. Yeah, it used to be going all the way down there. All the way down there, so we'll have to look back at some of those old videos to kind of. And all that's new. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, patio area covered, covered, you know, picnic slash. Who knows? Maybe they'll make this like a distillery area where. You come in here and hang out and watch the game and socialize with fans and friends. And that's a new wall right there by the Pepsi party deck. That, that, that giant. Oh, that was a crush song that, um, like after the first inning. Okay. They would get on the deck, microphone mic, and have an orange crust pop. And oh. would string the gallons, got the bottle of pop. Okay. Legends. Hit a home run off the sign. They would get a free game. Up in the suite. Nice. Suite. Black pole. They're up there because it's going to have netting. So there's no netting behind me now. 
But when we come back to see a game here, there's going to be netting uh, from foul line to foul line. And you just have to have those safety measurements this year because God forbid you have a young kid, a young boy or girl, even somebody my age get knocked on the head. Not everybody knows the first rule of baseball, and that is always pay attention to the ball. So that's a good little safety feature there uh, to protect those young ones, to protect anybody. God forbid somebody's not paying attention, they're eating a hot dog or nachos, smacked in the head. You don't want to see any harm. Looks like they left some of the old color seats. I'm sure there's meaning here, but maybe Lisa and Bruce Fentress wanted these to be the color. Go for it. Redoing the suites up there. If you can see, they were out there just putting some putty out. Oh, there they are. Making sure those are nice and new. As you can tell, we have more uh, seat backs. Tons of them. Tons and tons of seats. I'm not sure what they're doing with these seats, but if you wanna come by and ask if uh, maybe they'll, they'll charge you some money for a donation. If you're looking for cup holders, we got plenty of cup holders here. Tons of cup holders. One thing that hasn't changed for uh, games here in Lexington, you cannot park in the strip mall that's adjacent to the ballpark. That's still intact. And they'll tow your car away at your own expense. All right, and that sign will be gone too, LexingtonLegends.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed our look at the new Wild Health Field in Lexington, now home of the Counter Clocks, not the Legends. And whether you love that name or hate it, it's here to stay, so check out the ballpark, see the new changes, and I guarantee you'll have a hell of a good time. So this is Mark the Ballpark Hunter saying take care, goodbye, and we'll be back in Lexington this summer. Trust me. I'm the Ballpark Hunter. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe as I visit another ballpark.